Aaron, when this team's down 5 nothing, is it at a point where you're no longer surprised that the comeback's going to happen? You're just kind of eager to see how it's going to unfold? Well, yeah, we got down early, but we got a lot of ball game to play, you know, and you know, I trust the abilities of this team and, you know, what guys are capable of, just like I've been talking about the past couple of days, is, you know, guys are going to go out there and put out, you know, quality at bat after quality at bat, and that wears on a, you know, not only a pitcher, but a pitching staff. You know, everybody gets to the bullpen and see a couple arms, and we're able to, you know, get that comeback, you know, so it doesn't matter how many runs we're down, we're always, you know, always, we always feel like we're in the game. It's another three hits for you in this game today. How would you describe your, your approach at the plate these last two games? Same as it was all year, you know, just try to work to count, get a pitch I can drive, and just make sure I don't miss it. Do you feel like your timing's all the way back? Um, was it gone? I don't know. I'm kidding. I just, uh, no, I'm feeling all right. You know, I'm just just trying to get a good pitch to hit, you know, trying to swing the right pitches, and, and you know, when you got this type of lineup, you know, I'm just, I just got to get on base for those guys behind me, and they do the rest, so. How would you describe a homestand in which you take all three series, especially from the Astros and the Rays, but overall go nine and one. Oh, it's huge. You know, that's been our mindset all year. It's just, you know, dominate every series, win every game. And, you know, we got the club that didn't do that. And, you know, now we you know, get ready. You know, we got two off days going into, the, you know, this big London series. And I know, the, I know the boys are excited. So, you know, we just can't wait to get over there. What excites you the most about going to London? Playing the first game in Europe, that's going to be pretty cool, you know, and I uh, get a chance to you know, just spread the game of baseball and meet some new fans and, you know, just spread this wonderful game that we all love. Have you been there before? <laughs> I have. Yeah, I've been there uh, two years ago. A uh, short little trip, but um, I love my experience over there. What are you looking forward to seeing that maybe you didn't get a chance to see the first time? I don't know. I got some work to do on this flight. I got to figure out <laughs> a couple touristy things to do. But uh, you now let's check out some of the local shops and, and just kind of walk around the city, I think. It's kind of cool that you guys got a chance to play the Red Sox <laughs> over there. Yeah, you know, especially playing the rivals, that's going to be a good one. You know, they're you know, a quality ball, ball club that's got a great pitching staff, great offense. So it's going to be, uh, the fans are going to be in for, you know, quite a treat over there. Any scouting report on the stadium? Because it isn't really a baseball-shaped ballpark or whatever it is. Yeah, you know, I haven't heard too much about it. I heard it's, I think, like 385 to center. So I don't, I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. So uh, looking forward to it. Aaron, what is it about Glaber that he seems to have a clutch streak in him? He's got he's got a few walk-off hits. Yeah, he's got a couple, but um, you know he just doesn't matter the situation. Doesn't matter. You can tell by his at bats. It looks like it's the first thing, like he's just getting his first at bat. And even though he's already had two knocks in the day and he's going up for his fifth at bat, like nothing really phases him. You know, you can tell how. You know, I think the first strike called to him or it was a check swing or something, and, you know, he's kind of upset, but he brushes it off and gets ready for the next pitch. And, you know, for someone to do that at his age, to be able to brush that off and you know, go in there and compete and compete, man, that's, like I've said before, man, he's a special player. Aaron, what are your thoughts <coughs> on Giancarlo? It looks like he may have another serious injury. Yeah, the, the knee is, uh, that's, that's a tough one. You know, I don't know how serious it's going to be. You know, but you know, he's a big, strong man that, you know, he's going to recover fast, and he's a big part of this team, big part of this offense, and um, you know, we just want to be healthy for, you know, the stretch down the road, you know, so, you know, even if he has to sit down, you know, maybe another couple, you know, a week or two, but I just, I just want him in the long haul down the road, so. You feel bad for him. He just came back, and now he's injured again. It's just tough to play back to back. Yeah, it's tough. You know, injuries, they're freak accidents that happen. You know, for him, you know, he was trying to do a hustle play, you know, get an extra base for us by going to the third base. And then, you know, he's diving, trying to avoid a tag, and, you know, bangs up his knee. It's, that's a tough one. But uh, he's, he's a competitor. He's tough. You know, he's a bulldog. He's going to go out there and, you know, heal up and, you know, be ready for us down the stretch. Trip. Do you have any advice for the guys when they go to London? Anything they should see? Anything they should do? Oof. Yeah. Not a sh enjoy the experience. You know, it's it's you know we got a couple days over there. It's gonna go by fast. But I just kind of talk to the guys about just enjoy it. You know, walk around the city and just just have fun with it. You know, something you'll remember the rest of your life. So.